The University of the Free State is one of the oldest higher education institutions in South Africa. Established in 1904, we produce sought-after undergraduate and postgraduate students in seven faculties across three campuses in Bloemfontein and in Kwakwa in the Eastern Free State. We create opportunities and growth through leading learning and teaching, focused research and impactful engagement with society. Situated in the heart of South Africa, our character of caring and diversity translates into an outstanding university experience. Your Eminence, Excellencies, and most distinguished guests, good morning. By virtue of the power vested in me as Chancellor, I hereby constitute this congregation of the University of the Free State. I therefore award and confer qualifications on all the candidates presented to this congregation. In addition, I hereby award and confer qualifications on those whose names appear in the program. Welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of the University of the Free State. A special word of welcome to the members of the University Management and our Chancellor, Professor Bunang Mohale, who are part of the ceremony today. Besides graduating, the class celebrates many other firsts. You are the first to graduate from a blended learning approach at the University of the Free State. Instead of spending time on campus with your friends, making memories, you spent your final study year mostly locked down. Many of you are also first generation graduates. You are the first University of the Free State graduates entering a world of work that is very different from when you enrolled as a first year student. But despite all the challenges you have faced, here you are. I admire your resilience. We can all learn a lot from you. It would have been easy to quit, but you chose not to. We are extremely proud of you. At the University of the Free State, we understand that simply giving a qualification is not enough, especially in our current times. That is why we invest extra time and resources in teaching you the skills and values needed to survive and thrive in our new world. The first one is critical inquiry. In fact, critical inquiry is one of our graduate attributes. Work with the information you get, engage with it, investigate it, understand it and challenge it. The world is in desperate need of thinkers, people who are prepared to see things differently. Secondly, see people around you. You need them and they need you. The things you use every day were either made, transported or sold by someone else. You may not be as independent as you think. The world is always better when we are responsive to the needs of those around us. And lastly, always watch yourself. Integrity is the biggest gift you can give yourself as well as to those around you. 
go into the world and make the difference you were born for. You have all the knowledge, skills and values you need. Use it for the greater good. Enjoy your graduation ceremony. Congratulations. Baie geluk. Ria Laboga. A professor of practice at Johannesburg Business School, College of Business and Economics, and chairman of Bidvest Group Limited. Prof. Mohale Bonang is a published author and respected business leader who has held chairmanships and directorships at some of the South African top companies. He currently serves on the boards of Swiss Re Africa Limited, Rent Merchant Bank Limited, the Automobile Association of South Africa, and SBV. Professor Mohali was the former executive officer of business leadership South Africa in 2001. He receives the President Award for his seventh wood in South African industry and in 2019 the Free Market Foundation Luminary Awards. Prior to joining business leadership South Africa, Professor Mohali was the chairman of Shell Downstream South Africa PTY Limited and vice president of Shell Upstream. Professor Mohali serves as the chancellor of the University of Free State since June 2020. Universities were initially created to connect people. In our country, after 27 years of democracy, we have succeeded in increasing the percentage of students attending institutions of higher learning from 7 to 11 percent. By definition, it makes you a small part of the elite. And I hope that you will resist the temptation to be elitist and therefore exclusionary. For us, the biggest injustice we faced as a country pre-1994 was exclusion. If the year 2020 was the year of the digital revolution, please join us in making 2021 to be the year of the arc, bringing people in. To empower universities to become inclusive centers of excellence. To be awake to persistent inequalities and how these continue to shape a sense of belonging ownership, identity, access, language, symbols, attitudes, and expectations. To support the emergence of institutions that nurture young people to come out of these institutions, not only with hard skills, but with a sense of social justice, critical thinking, and curiosity. To conceptualize ethical frameworks that will guide societal engagement with universities. To promote public ownership of higher educational institutions where the public recognize their role as both beneficiaries and stakeholders in the accomplishments of universities. To develop a social justice approach to higher education where universities propel democratic engagement and advocate for academic freedom which nurtures success of the higher education system through assessments of different perspectives. Help us in our incessant, consistent, and persistent pursuit of equality. To inform, to inspire, and ignite new efforts to achieve a world where eventually every woman and every man, every black person and every white person can look forward to fair and equal treatment. A world in which being a woman or a black person is not a barrier to becoming a leader in any field, nor a factor contributing to negative perceptions of an individual's leadership. Equality is something that both affects everyone and has the potential to benefit everyone. We all lose out if we dismiss it as simply a women's or black people's issue. 
much more is needed to achieve equality than mere compliance with the law. All the great leaders have one characteristic in common, namely the willingness to unequivocally confront the major anxiety of their people in their time. This, and not much else, is the essence of leadership. Many of you have had to overcome a lot during your journey to get here today. You had your own personal challenges, challenges inside and outside the lecture rooms. Most of the year was spent adapting to a new and better normal and dealing with the challenges brought on by the pandemic. Some of you have lost loved ones to the COVID-19 pandemic, while others have had to deal with funding studies or even both. The list is endless. Many of you are the first in your families to reach this milestone. So even in the midst of the disruptive year that you have experienced, you have earned this moment and you should be extremely proud. If you carry only one thing throughout your life, let it be hope. Hope that better things are always ahead. That you can get through even the toughest of times. That you are stronger than any challenge that comes your way. That you are exactly where you are meant to be right now. And that you are on the path to where you are meant to be. Because during these unusually deadly times, hope will be the very thing that carries you through. Being a change agent, defender of democracy, and social justice activist requires immense grounding and self-awareness. Make sure that you surround yourself with real people in real communities while inculcating kindness, empathy, passion, and awareness of the real issues. Change requires activism. And this acti activism can only come with clear strategy, clear action, and mobilizing. Many of you are already doing this. You have already started on the grounds of the university campuses. No one is better positioned than you to take activism to the next level. Also, be reminded that none of this can be done alone. Align yourself with those who have a common cause and carry along those who have been left out and those who are struggling. It is up to you to build bridges, remain morally astute, and grow your coalitions you wish to tackle and complete the unfinished goals of this country and bring about a better world. Graduates of the University of the Free State, remember that you are now all role models. Your involvement in what matters most in this country, your willingness to act against the injustice and inequality, and your courage to stand up for what is right, these actions will define you and speak volumes. Our country needs your leadership, and many have been waiting for the likes of you to come along. You hold so much power, you have earned your degree and it is now up to you to use it. Congratulations to all our graduates. May you have continued success in all your endeavors. Mr. Chancellor, I have the privilege of requesting you to award the following qualifications to the candidates that I introduce to you. Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, Higher Certificates.
Faculty of Education, Advanced Certificates and National Professional Diplomas.
Faculty of Their Humanities Higher Certificates. Congratulations to all our graduates on this wonderful achievement and students with distinctions who have excelled in their various fields of study. Your eminence, excellencies, and most distinguished guests, this concludes the proceedings for this morning.
By virtue of the power vested in me as chancellor, I hereby dissolve this congregation of the University of the Free State. 